So I started off my 10th day in Korea by packing up my bags and moving out of my Goshiwan that I had been staying in for 10 days. It was a very nice space and exactly what I needed at the time, but I was so ready to move into my new dorm room. So I made the silly choice of deciding to take a couple buses to Yonsei's campus instead of getting a taxi. I didn't think I'd be able to use a taxi because I didn't have a Korean phone number, but I actually could have taken one. Instead, I took the bus, which was honestly cheaper. Looking back now, it's kind of fun to see how much I progressed since I first arrived in Korea. The bus rides weren't very long, but I will say one bus had very narrow steps and thin entranceway, so I struggled a bit, but I still made it on the bus and that's what mattered. And then once I got off the bus, I walked around 15 minutes to my dorm. And I'm not gonna lie, looking back at every single day in Korea holistically, this is the one day that I remember being the hottest, at least for me. I was sweating buckets, I felt gross, and it also made me worried for the summer weather ahead. But honestly, this was the worst day for me, but it was probably also because I was carrying all of my luggage. In the end, I made it to the international house, which is where I was staying for the rest of the summer. And yeah, I moved in. I didn't really film it because my roommate was there. Then I went out to lunch in Shincheon with one of my intern friends. Because of the weather, I really wanted to eat something cold. So I found a place that served naengmyeon and it was exactly what I needed. The bits of ice evaporated all of my sweat. The cold noodles restored all of my energy and the meat that came with my meal restored all of my happiness. It was such a rewarding victory meal after a long morning of moving in. We also watched a dance group perform in Shincheon and then headed to Daiso. I didn't get anything, but I enjoyed wandering through Daiso. This marshmallow candy was so fascinating. I didn't end up buying it because I thought, oh, I'll buy it later in my trip, and of course I never did. So one thing that I learned from this trip is that I should hop on stuff when I find it. This is then I went back to my dorm room. Here's a little tour. I was pretty happy with my room. I enjoyed all of the storage space. I liked the view. We were also provided bedding. I just had to pick it up downstairs, but I made sure to wash it all before putting it on my bed. The international house was an all girls house and we had a communal bathroom and shower room. This was my second choice dorm. My first choice was the SK Global House where each room had their own bathroom, but I was just happy to get a room. And I was also used to the communal bathroom situation because that's what I had to do my freshman year in college. And then I had plans to eat dinner with my friend Sophia from college. We met at the really pretty building on Yonsei's campus. I forget what it's called, but I saw it in a K-drama, so seeing it in person was very exciting. So we just kind of walked into a random restaurant in Shincheon. We weren't that hungry, so we decided to share odeng tang, which is fish cake soup. <laughs> it was so good, and I'd never seen a rice cake that big. I thought the rice cake I saw yesterday was big, and this was even bigger. I also enjoyed the variety of fish cakes in the soup. All different types. And then after dinner, I went to Hongdae with my friend Hannah. And this was definitely a defining moment of my trip because we were about to meet some of my closest friends. So it was kind of a random group that came together. Hard to explain and it would take way too long. But we all met at BBQ Chicken. Everyone was so happy and kind. This was how I finished my day. The whole night was very fun, and the best part is this was only the beginning of a really crazy summer with them.